Yo, True here, and welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Isle of Armor playthrough. In the previous episodes, we completed the dojo trials and defeated our rival, Avery. If you missed any of those episodes, please feel free to go through the playlist and catch up. But in this episode, we'll be continuing the journey and getting the secret armor of the Master Dojo. So without further ado, let's continue. There you are, True. Keeping this old man waiting. Since you've completed all three trials, I give you the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Now then, come on out. Look at the hand speed. This Pokemon is in fact the secret armor of the Master Dojo. Say hello to Kupfu. I know, I know it's tiny. But raise it with diligence and it'll become strong enough to see you through any battle just like a suit of armor. No opponent will be able to get past it. This one in particular has amazing potential. Problem is it's a bit shy. It just doesn't seem to have much confidence in itself. So I was thinking true. Maybe if it joins you in your adventure, that'll help it break it out of a shell a little bit. So take good care of Kupfu. It's in your hands now. So Kupfu is a fighting Pokemon that evolves into Urshifu, which is a legendary Pokemon. Strong, fast, physical attacking Pokemon. Urshifu has two different evolution types. So when you get a Kupfu, you can later decide to evolve it into the fighting and water type of Urshifu or the fighting and dark type of Urshifu. Both are also new Pokemon and they have their own unique Gigantamax forms. Now then, the first thing for you to do is to become best friends with Kupfu. You need to build trust. Kupfu hasn't really had a chance to explore the world outside of the dojo, so maybe it'll help you become better friends if you let it look around. Maybe take it to a spot that has a great view of the Isle of Armor. I'll have my students standing at good spots, so just keep an eye out. And of course, having battles or camping out together will also help you become more friendly towards each other. What else? Oh, I know. I hereby grant you permission to keep a Pokemon out of its Pokeball here on the Isle of Armor. You can now let the Pokemon at the head of your team out of its Pokeball and take it for a stroll. You'll be friends in no time if you walk together. Go and take a stroll with Kufu, why don't you? Once your best buddies, we'll start Kufu's training in earnest. Just stop by and let me know once you think you're ready. So, we got an adamant Kupfu, which is great because I restarted this video several times trying to get that nature right. So I'm going to save, enjoy, and we can continue the story. So as you can see, we now have Alakazam floating around behind us. but. Let's switch and get our boy Cup Fu out here. Is it an item? And it's a nugget. So there's Cup Fu. He's tiny, so he walks slow. If we ride our bike, he's still back there. What's unfortunate for him is 
he's so tiny that we'll be leaving him behind. Gotta get those watts. And if we come over here, we got a TM for Focus Blast. The user heightens its mental focus and unleashes its power. This may also lower the target's special defense stat. So, we got our Ur Urshifu. We're gonna need to train it, but I'm gonna take the shortcut and I'm gonna use my experience candies. So that got it up to 60. He's gonna wanna learn a bunch of moves, which is cool, because we can give him an upgrade. I don't want scary face. I'll take headbutt for now. We definitely want Brick Break. That's a huge upgrade from Rock Smash. I'll pass on Detect. Bulk up is good, but I don't think I'll end up keeping it long. And so, Iron Head is good. Um. So what I'm going to say is, stuff like this is why doing the max raids are good. Because you get the experience candies and, you know, you can power up Pokemon basically instantly. Now close combat is a must. I'll pass on Focus Punch and I'll use the rest of these candies to get this maxed out. So, I need vitamins. So we're going to take a quick detour. So here are the the, um, the view spots that they want us to go. I'm looking for vitamins. I think that's here. I could be wrong. Definitely wrong. Yep, TMs. So I didn't cover this in previous episodes, but good to have some TMs. I'll buy Thunder Punch since I'm here. So the reason why I'm looking for vitamins or the vitamin shop is because I plan on using Urshifu and Kufu rather in a competitive capacity. So I'm going to want to boost its attack and speed as much as possible. I won't be able to afford all the vitamins that I want, but I'll work that out. I should have some stuff I can sell. Here we go. See if so, if I sell all my big nuggets, I get a million dollars. That's plenty. All right, so protein boost attack stats. Carbos boost speed. I want that for Urshifu. And then I'll get an iron to boost its uh, 
defense. So, for the advanced players that are looking to get into, you know, the post-game battle scene and competitive play, vitamins are the way to go. You know, just to further boost Pokemon stats. Want to make sure you got that edge. All right, so so Kofu stats are now essentially maxed out from a vitamin perspective. I can do a video in the future on EVs, IVs, and you know building competitive Pokemon. So there's Kofu. So we're with the little buddy Kofu. And we need to go to one of the spots with the great view. So again, look at the map. We can go here, 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 or here. So I'm probably going to go to this spot and see what that does for Kafu's trust in me. Because we want to be our best buddy, right? Once he becomes our best buddy, he can start knocking fools out. Alright, so here's one of the students. Hi there, True. You've got to see one of you from here. Come on, why don't you and Kafu enjoy the scenery together? So Kafu's enjoying the cave. Happy little Kupfu. You and Kupfu are now best friends. Master Mustard should be really happy to see how well you get along. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Alright, so that was pretty simple. Of course, if you go to the other spots, you get other views. But the assumption is check the map I don't know if you need to go to all of them but we'll find out so they're all on the map so I guess you have the option to I don't know if it's necessary hey okay, mustard I'm home Hmm, if only someone... No, but who would gather that many? Alright, so here's Mosha's wife. She's looking for Watts. If we donate Watts to the dojo, the dojo will get upgrades. If I had 400,000 Watts, I could give them to her and get the vitamins I just bought for a discounted rate. I don't have that many watts. I mean, there's, there's different things along the way, but at the 400,000 mark is where you can decide to stop because you've gotten the most benefit out of it. But anyway, here's Mustard. What's this, what's this? Let's see how you and Kupfu are getting along. Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kufu has really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say, I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. So again, here's the benefit of having those experienced candies. We skipped a whole bunch of training and unnecessary things for the walkthrough. But anyway. Taking a stroll with mustard in my cup food. Whew. I guess this is as good a spot as any. Now then, true and cup food. If you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for cup food. Prepare yourself for the Tower of Two Fists. 
the blue tower is the tower of waters and the red tower is the tower of darkness choose wisely since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers cup whose fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose and the type it gets will change as well think carefully each tower is five stories tall and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you make sure you level up cup food properly before trying to climb up you can reach both of the towers by heading through the forest of focus you might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. So as I mentioned earlier, and as Mother just alluded to, that's how you decide which form of Kupfu's evolution you want. I'm going to go with the water tower. So. Pick up some items, run into a choodle, stick my Kung Fu on them, just so y'all can see the power of my little Kung Fu bear. Hi, yeah. My Kung Fu bear get busy. He's also level 99, so, you know. But, we'll grab some wants along the way. Gotta get those wants. There's a gold up, a magnemite. Did that a bottle of zinc. Star me. Some more watts. And in the background, you see the Tower of Water. Two thousand watts are always good. Good to get. So when you see those beams, just make sure you swing by and grab those. A lot of new Pokemon you can now get out of the um, Max Raid Battles with this DLC. As you guys can see all these old school Pokemon popping up. Big Pearl some good money. So the Tower of Water. Let's get it. Find some nice items. Find this dojo. So let's start the climb. The Tower of Waters. It's a special training ground that only Cub Fu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure Cub Fu is the only Pokemon on your team. So we've got to put everybody else in the PC. I wonder if I had multiple cup full. If I could just have six of them. And roll in there. Six deep. Of cup full. So if you raise your cup full to at least level 70, training will go smoothly, allegedly. Once you enter the tower, you will not be able to leave until the best five opponents or all defeated yourself. So we gotta run the gauntlet, beat the five um, trainers in here, or get knocked out. But you know.
we can handle that. So here's cup full. So thanks for watching guys. And next episode we'll continue through we'll start and continue through the tower of water. So thanks for watching. I'm true. Till next time.